You are, Mr. Ed, the supreme example of what it is that people need to come to me for. Because you already have satisfied everything that an ordinary pickup school would want in a student. Excuse me, ladies. Do you both speak English, or do either of you speak English? I just saw you both, and I thought you both look adorable. So I wanted to come and say hello. Just one minute, one minute. Um, what brings you both to Kiev? Are you both here on holidays, or are you both living here? You're both studying here. Ah, okay. I'm not studying here. I'm working here. Well, working here for the past two months, and now I have to leave. How did you feel? Yeah. Uh, slightly manic. I just saw you both and I wanted to talk to you both, so I ended up in this situation now. I needed to meet you both separately, it might have made more sense. Where are you going now? I feel like I was talking too much. Talking way too much. Because there was two of them. And I was trying to entertain them almost, which was tough. But that's how I feel. You look like you go to Forsaji. Forsaji? It's a club. Is that how it seemed? I do think, based on their non-communicative nature and their the way they walked away, mm -hmm. there was a feeling of being overwhelmed. Yeah, that's what I thought too. Bewildered and over overwhelmed. And, but at the same time, they were very captivated. It's like a late night bar where all the teenagers go. Versage, yeah, yeah. No, she hates it. <laughs> I can see that, yeah, yeah. I was joking, I couldn't see you in Versace. You look more like a cocktail bar kind of girl. But the uh, distance between you guys right. was so vast. You look more like a cocktail bar kind of girl. That's a compliment. Generally speaking, you were more on the level, the level, common ground. But let's chalk it up, therefore, then, to the anxiety related to not being able to pick one girl. Yeah, I didn't know which one. But why didn't you know? They're both stunning. What's that? I thought they were both hot. <laughs> Jesus, you're that greedy. Well, I just didn't, well, it wasn't together. I just felt that they both were, I couldn't give one of them a compliment without giving the other a compliment. So I just had to stop you and you look amazing. And they say, I'm Ed, and hi, I'm Ed. You acknowledge the other one, unless for some reason she immediately goes onto her phone or something like that, and gets it, gets what's going on. And then in that case, you continue very focusedly on your girl. And even if the other one has been introduced, you introduce yourself to her, yeah. you still make primary eye contact with your main girl. And then, like, as it's getting some flow to it, then you do one of a few things. Either get to a point where it's like, so what are you guys both doing today? You include them after you've communicated clearly why you're there. Now you're showing social uh, intelligence. It's like, okay, you just include them both. I pointed to her face, so I was like, you look like you're fucking... Oh yes. Yeah. So then you went into, it's okay to call yeah. out awkwardness. Yeah. You're both looking at me very surprised. Uh, I needed to meet you both separately, it might have made more sense. Because then it shows that you're socially calibrated, you have social intelligence. When you call, well this is, I know this is a little unusual, or even say this is a little awkward, um, but I wanted to meet you. And then, then the awkwardness goes away, and they understand you have social intelligence. But if you do what you did, which was, and this is a little awkward, and maybe if I talk to just, if it was just one girl, it wouldn't be so awkward. Yeah. I wanted to talk to you both, so I ended up in this situation now. Situation now. You're so effective at the front of your body. You're so playful, comedic, and so on. But if it doesn't work, then you're you're reluctant to leave the situation. You want to stay in order to make the front work. Because where do we get rewarded? We get rewarded on the front. 
with gazes, the way she looks at me, the way she says yes, we're seen again at the outside and we get approval from the outside. So we're just I, reacting according to external stimulus. The reacting, but you're staying in situations longer than you need to because there's a dependence on the outside, but there's a resting place on the inside that's more free to cut it off or to pull the trigger or to grab her and kiss her. You understand? I do, yeah, I get you, 100%. Wow, amazing. <laughs> good stuff, good stuff. If it was just one girl, it wouldn't be so awkward. Yeah. And then immediately in their heads, they think, well, since it's two girls, it must continue to be awkward, you know? Yeah. I think, well, How are we going to get yeah. over that? If you're going to call out awkwardness, do it from a place of observation, not from a place of immersion or a place of paralysis. So observation, oh, I know this is a little awkward, I get it, move on, right? And call it out to them to relieve pressure in them. Oh, I know this is a little awkward to meet some guy on the street, but I wanted to say hello. You already know where it's going. It's like you're climbing a mountain and you're like, how do I get to the next step? You don't see how to get there, so you see it's awkward, call it the awkwardness, Psh, it's no longer awkward because you're socially intelligent, you understand awkwardness, then you continue. But if you call it out, and you start falling down by saying, this is awkward, I don't know what to do from here, if I only did this, then no, no, no. then you're, now you're falling yeah. down the mountain. You look more like a cocktail bar than a girl. <laughs> That's a compliment. That's a compliment, so... Anyway. Wow, your eyes. Jeez, you're hiding them. Oh my God. You're really hiding them. This is amazing. What are your names, by the way? Tanya. Tanya, Edward. What is your name? Tasha. Tasha and Tanya. Two T's. Wow. Uh, anyway, I must leave you both and continue. But uh, another time, I'd like to bring you both out. Maybe together, if you want to come. I can add you on Instagram. I can add one of you on Instagram. Okay, I'll add you on Instagram. Wow. Anyway, nice to meet you both. And uh, have a lovely day. Okay, bye-bye. I felt like a bit of a clown, to be honest. For one thing, just being able to choose between left and right is going to ease your purpose. The first step helps the second step, helps the third step. Once you're really at home, you can fuck up the first nine steps and still recover, right? So let's get into the house, first of all, which is internal work. But then once you're in the house, then it's like, don't worry so much about this room or that room. I just saw you both and I wanted to talk to you both, so I ended up in this situation now. I needed to meet you both separately, it might have made more sense. Where are you going now? Usually, when we feel out of control, we compensate by speaking more in order to make sure that we have the scene under control, right. that she's not gonna walk away. You are, Mr. Ed, the supreme example of what it is that people need to come to me for. Because you already have satisfied everything that an ordinary pickup school would want in a student. One-liners, all of the approach skills, all of the dialogue communication flow. Instead of being tri uh, tripped up by an obstacle, you find some resourceful way to move through it, okay? So this is all to say that now let's begin the non-dual work. Now let's begin the real connection. Now come on a workshop.